Hello, this blog's about industrial security, but I want to start with a personal thought before we get to what's changing in our space. You know, early on in my personal career, I quickly realized how different the world of operational technology was from IT. And as I progressed in my own career, I learned to appreciate both sides of the organization. And with this, it became really clear how ill-equipped both sides were to coordinate the broader challenges around industrial transformation. Never mind, how do we secure operational technology in these in production environments? So I always had this question in my mind, you know, what was the best way to connect OT with IT? You know, how do you coordinate, lay a foundation and integrate these wildly different devices into the enterprise successfully? You know, really early on, I was personally curious what was the best way to bring in this $250,000 process equipment, its compute, its databases, and its integration with ERP and other systems, and to manage this all, not to mention allow process engineers to conduct the necessary configuration or their first pass qual processes necessary to certify the equipment for use. You know, additionally, there was these other logistics associated with coordinating all these activities across multiple parties, you know, each interested in their own part with very little understanding or concern for how this all had to come together in order to go live. And after a machine was brought online, you know, we also had to consider how do we operate this machine uninterrupted for say five, 10 or more years. You know, these devices are, have enormously long lifespans, which creates a whole nother set of issues. And when you reflect on the effort to make manufacturing smarter with technology, on one hand, we have a group of production-minded individuals. You know, these are folks focused on designing processes to manufacture products at the very lowest cost, the highest quality, and the best possible throughput. And on the other hand, we have information technology and security professionals who have largely been focused or had their efforts on delivering standards and secure solutions at scale across the entirety of the organization. You know, for most IT organizations, this has meant sticking to data centers, core networking, and other core car uh, carpeted worlds that we typically think of as offices. And so when we try to combine the needs and efforts of these two groups to accomplish the larger strategic goals, it should come as no surprise why these two groups are typically challenged to address the roles and responsibilities surrounding the industrial transformation we need, the new devices being introduced, the networks to compute, and the security requirements to implement what we might consider a modern smart manufacturing facility. Now, this is my own personal experience, but it may not be unlike what you've typically experienced or are experiencing. And it's really emblematic of the state of manufacturing and of the many challenges and risks facing production, labs, and other specialty environments within a manufacturing organization. For most manufacturers, their networks, devices, their backup methods, their data connectivity, and even their transport may not all be at par with what we consider modern standards. And it's because of these challenges that, that it makes production environments even more at risk to itself and to the entire organization. And if you combine it with what comes next, the fact that engineers and other professionals in our business will add new technologies tomorrow, think sensors, beacons, and machine vision technology, the environment will only become more complicated and with a larger attack surface for risk. This is why it's so important for organizations to think through and invest in industrial infrastructure. It's the foundation of their, uh, of their innovation and of their next generation technology to support their goals. But equally important is the role of industrial security and how it fits in to the larger infrastructure. You know, of course, this all means that our investments into technology ranging from the edge to data center to the cloud don't put the organization at risk, but allows us to still accomplish our goals. You know, reflecting back on my earlier question, the answer to that question really is about, it's a little simpler than that. You know, it requires organizational alignment. It requires clear strategy and investment from all departments. You know, the good news is these historical challenges are becoming easier and with more support from leadership. For example, 87% of organizations are adopting new technologies or retrofitting legacy equipment as part of a larger strategic strategy around Industry 4.0 and accelerating that adoption. You know, equally important is the fact that 55% of, the, of business leaders recognize an increased security risk accompany industrial transformation. So, what has long been obvious to some is now clear to a growing number of leaders, including CEOs, CFOs, and CIOs. 
This now means we can establish the right industrial infrastructure to support that rapid innovation manufacturing engineers seek, while also implementing the necessary scale, resilience, and cyber industrial security solutions to protect the business. Now, while, while it's not possible to solve every business challenge with industrial transformation, there are some steps that can be taken to introduce the right mix of industrial infrastructure and security solutions that support the goals of both of these environments, mainly operational technology and information technology. Now, the truth is a, a great deal has changed over the past few years. Solutions now exist that didn't exist just, just a couple of years ago. These solutions don't just you know, segment and protect networks, but now there exists practical means to converge these two environments in a way that enhances the experience and ability of production to innovate with technology while also delivering improved visibility and security to IT. So let's take a look at some of these trends. You know, the first trend is around support for industrial protocols. There's, there has been a huge uptick in, in terms of edge compute, security devices, and other networking technologies that now support industrial protocols. Think Modbus, ProfitNet, etc. You know, this changes everything because now a device is capable of supporting both traditional IT traffic as well as other data coming and originating from OT. This opens us up to better quality of service, deep packet inspection, logging and vulnerability assessments, and seamless integration and management that includes the historically off-limit technologies and protocols in OT or production. The second is security devices or networking. You know, in addition to devices fit for function, meaning more rugged, fanless, waterproof, and even intrinsically safe units designed to operate in some of the most challenging industrial environments, we're seeing a huge shift in devices with security built right into them. These devices are now changing the way we manage both industrial and traditionally IT managed devices in these environments. These shifts include things like simply connecting industrial technologies or zero trust or device profiling make it easier for known devices to be added or moved and packet managed design to support industrial protocols and optimize the industrial environment to meet its goals. You know, next generation industrial networks now even offer edge compute. I mean, think custom software, containers, virtual machines, working at the edge on your trusted network gear along with other features like secure cellular backhaul. So there's a lot going on with these devices and you should explore them. Third, event management and integration. You know, next generation networking and edge devices are also allowing for full integration with security operation centers, SOCs, along with security information event management platforms. This allows organizations to integrate alerts and intelligence with their existing security monitoring solutions so that they can act or effectively respond and remediate. When you combine these traditional IT capabilities with the next generation industrial security solutions, we can now offer organizations a single pane of glass or a means to integrate all the things in our business, including our production technologies. All right, the fourth is managing secure, managed security services. You know, most organizations have enough on their plate. I mean, what we just talked about should be sufficient. So to implement best practice processes, monitoring tools, and round-the-clock staff is an additional burden on an already strained team. You know, managed security services are allowing IT teams to outsource some of this effort to services dedicated to the task of monitoring and protecting their tech estate. All right, these are just a few of the shifts and improvements we're observing in our clients and in the marketplace as it relates to industrial security. And it continues to evolve quickly with, with, with the goal of improving business operations and keeping it secure. At Connection, we're passionate about how technology enables business outcomes and we're committed to solving our customers' unique challenges. Our manufacturing practice is comprised of individuals who come from the manufacturing world. We understand the challenges and the goals of the sector. This allows our teams to make recommendations from IoT to industrial infrastructure and security options to help your organization focus on innovation while getting the advice and solutions to connect and protect your industrial environments. If you enjoyed this content or would like to discuss the topic in more detail, reach out to your account executive so we can discuss your goals around industrial infrastructure and security. Thank you and take care.